We've just got back from a mini adventure down the Icefields Parkway and into Jasper National Park, where we spent just over one full day exploring the town of Jasper and seeing what this amazing place has to offer. So stick around and spend the day with us as we make our way around Jasper and try our best to experience everything that makes this place so incredible. Yesterday evening, we arrived into town and checked straight into our motel, Mount Robson Inn, where we've booked a room for the next two nights. Having just spent the whole day exploring the Icefields Parkway, we decided to take it easy for the rest of the night and we made the short walk into town and found a place to share a couple of beers and eat some fried food, ready for our full day of adventuring tomorrow. This morning we woke up bright and early and our first priority when staying in a motel is always going to be hitting the breakfast buffet. So we made our way into the breakfast room, poured ourselves some coffee and annihilated our breakfast bagels in front of this view of both the parking lot and the mountains. Then we headed back to our room to get ready, we packed up the car with our stuff for the day and we hit the road. Our first stop of the day is going to be just a 10 minute drive away from where we're staying away from the town of Jasper and back towards the Icefields Parkway, back through the ticket booth and into Jasper National Park. Hello, good morning. It's 8.30 and we've just arrived at our first trail of the day. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Valley of the Five Lakes. We're the only ones here, apart from that deer. He's, he's grazing. Still there. Yeah, he's still munching. He's just having his breakfast. Um, so apparently we're a little, little bit early, so don't worry, we have our bear spray. We are prepared because I feel like we're going to see a bear, it's going to be now. It's first thing in the morning, no one else has been here. And it's a lovely morning. Mm. Sky's blue. So yeah. The weather said it was gonna to snow today, all day. So I was a little bit nervous. We woke up, opened the curtains, blue sky. Beautiful. Yeah, it's glorious. It's beautiful. We just came into the park from the Jasper side, obviously. This is like a kilometre and a half from the ticket barrier to get in. And the road conditions say fair, so we think it has snowed at some point along the whole 250 kilometer road. But yeah. hopefully it'll be fine tomorrow when we have to go home. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Danielle's nervous. She doesn't I like driving snow. in the snow. Fun fact for you, I hate driving in the snow, or even just the idea of there being snow while I drive. I just don't like it. We don't get snow in the UK. I don't care for it. For the first people on trail, we just saw some big animal prints. Now, don't tell me it's a dog because there's no people here. The car park's empty and there's no human footprints, just animal footprints on the frost. Just either a big cat or a wolf. So, if you don't hear from us again, you know why. Right. We finally found the blue leg. And look. Look how awesome this is. The water's so clear. We're standing on this little J thing that moves. Danielle doesn't like it. But look, you can see the reflection, all the mountains. So we've been in Canada for six months and this is the first time we've actually seen a defrosted lake in Canada. How exciting. Every time we've gone for a hike, they've been frozen. This is the first time we've actually come across one that's not frozen. And didn't that weren't lying. These lakes are bloody beautiful. They really are blue too. The water's so, so clear and blue. I don't think the camera's really doing it justice because the sun's so high right now, but from up there, you can see how blue it is. So I'll get some more clips of it being blue, but look at this. Look at this reflection, this little mountain in the background somewhere over here. Wow. So peaceful here. Wow. All right. I think this is the first lake or the second lake, so. Let's see what else there is. There's five lakes we'll together apparently. Two of them might have been brown ones. Two of them might have been brown. But hopefully not. Hopefully there's three more blue ones. Wow. And look how nice the weather is too. It was supposed to be snowing today. 
Wow. Fourth leg. Does that mean this one's the fourth leg? Yeah. Or the fourth leg's up there? I, I might need to get a map out, I don't know. Okay, so I've consulted the map and this is indeed fourth leg. So the first one was fifth leg. This one's fourth leg and you know, so on and so forth. I don't know if it's because we're here early in the morning, but it's really, really still and the reflections are amazing. That was nice. It was easy. I'd recommend. of the day, Malign Canyon. This is a 4.3 kilometer out and back trail with 130 meters of elevation. According to Brenner's phone, it's gonna take us one hour and 13 minutes. We tend to be a bit quicker than what it says. Well, when Brenner's taking photos, we're not, so I'm probably gonna say we're gonna be an hour and a half. Um, it's a gradual downhill on the way there and then it's back uphill on the way back, apparently. We're gonna cross five bridges and apparently it looks nice, so let's go find out. Car park is not very busy, but definitely busier than the last one. Please excuse the lip balm on my nose. I've got a cold and I've got a chap nose, so I've had to use a lip balm on the end of my nose, which is why I look a bit greasy. And why I'm wearing sunglasses in the car, because you don't want to see what monstrosity these are hiding. Because I ain't looking, I ain't looking fresh today, all right? But I'm on hold down and making the most of it. So let's go for a hike. The weather's still glorious. I thought the clouds would roll in by now. It's now 11 a.m. and it's still lovely. So let's go and let's hope we don't bump into a bear. I think it's gonna be really nice in summer, but I think because not all the snow's melted, it might not be as nice. I don't know. I mean, we're still gonna go. So my suspicions were correct. It's dry. There's no water in it. It's really cool. It's really cool. But there's no water. Third bridge is pretty cool because you can see all these icicles hanging down and you can hear the water moving underneath the ice. There's like a thick, thick layer of it. It's pretty cool. You can hear it, you just can't see it. Okay, we're at third bridge and we can hear water flowing now. So I got, I got hope for fourth and fifth bridge now. It's all like trickling from up there and there's a lot more frozen ice here. So in the summer there actually might be some water in it. So the good news is we found the water. There's a little waterfall, there's a little stream, it's beautiful. Um, the bad news is it ends there. It just seeps into the ground. I don't know where it goes because it doesn't go downstream. It's so dry, it's just dry. Um, this bit's nice though. So I think we're gonna turn around here because honestly it's just, it's just dry further down, unfortunately. But hey, we found the water. So we walked down the canyon for quite a way. Quite a way, not really. How far have we gone? Kilometer? Kilometer. 
Uh, we walked down the back kilometer, but it was really dry. Then we found a waterfall and we were like, oh yeah, things are looking up. There's gonna be some water in the canyon, that'll be fun. Um, and then it kind of just falls off this cliff and then just gets evaporated by the ground. So the rest of the canyon's dry again. So we're gonna turn back. There's so many things to see in this town. We don't see the point in walking along a dry canyon. If you're in the summer, it's probably really cool because it's probably full because everything's melted. But for us, it's just not feeling like worthwhile. The canyon itself is pretty cool, but I don't want to waste time walking all the way down there. Let's walk all the way back in because there's no water. But yeah, let's go back to the car. Are you ready? Ah, my foot. So we were looking on the map after we just finished at the canyon and there was a lake here called Edith Lake. It's 4K, you walk around the lake and it looks nice, so we're here. Let's go see if it's nice. I've put the big coat on because it's bloody free. Ooh. Ooh, it looks nice. It's big. This is Edith Lake and we kind of just drove past it and I thought that sounds interesting so we stopped and we're doing the little loop around it which is like 4k it's really blue it's lovely it's actually it's crazy blue like it doesn't look real considering we're like right next to town I'm impressed basically there's also all these lake houses around the edge with all these like canoes and little water sport things I'm jealous I'm really jealous imagine living on this lake there's so many houses along here too like cabins and big nice houses I'm jealous it's gorgeous such an easy little trail it's pretty much flat it just goes all the way around 4k and it's really nice it's like wooded and honestly the lake is beautiful look at this trail isn't it cute just like weaving through the woods Wonderful we'll see a So things I've learned on my walk around Edith Lake. Squirrels don't like me. Rich people like water sports. This lake's really blue. It's much too warm for a coat of this magnitude. I've put the big coat on because it's bloody freezing. But we've also learned that we need coffee. We're starting to flag now. Our 6am wake up call was a little too early. It's now about 2. It's 2pm and Danielle reckons she needs a nap. Yeah. I need a coffee. So I think the plan is to go get some coffee because I'm struggling. Get me to Timmy's. Oh, please excuse that pile of trash down there. After grabbing a couple of much needed coffees from Tim Hortons, we headed up to Pyramid Lake. This stop was just a quick one, with the lake only being around 6 kilometers from the town of Jasper. So we drank our coffees in the car and we headed towards Pyramid Island for a quick afternoon stroll. The weather did start to get a little bit cloudy and overcast at this point, so we decided to drive back into town and after a quick stop at our motel, we walked back towards the main street. Looking for a decent beer, we decided to pop into Jasper Brewing Co and have a cheeky pint. My favorite was definitely the Babe Tangerine Dream, which tasted like an orange Fanta and a beer combined, which is right up my alley. Choosing a place for dinner was up to Danielle, so we ended up at Montana's just down the street, which was not very memorable to be honest. Thank you. 
The next morning we had intended to head back out and do a few more hikes in the area, but as you can see, the weather took a nasty turn and we woke up to heavy snow. We ventured outside to attack the breakfast buffet again whilst we deliberated on what to do. We decided to make the short drive up to Pyramid Lake again to see if we could spot any wildlife on the way up there, but unfortunately, not even the wildlife wanted to be out in this weather. So we reluctantly checked out of the motel and made our way back down the Icefields Parkway and towards our home in Canmore. If you enjoyed this video, please consider just quickly tapping that like button below the screen. It will really help us out with the algorithm and growing our channel. And of course, please make sure you subscribe for more travel content coming very, very, very soon.